Get connected. Get connected in the mighty name of Jesus. Get connected. Get connected in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will delay your blessings anymore. Nothing will keep you away from your man. You will get connected to that man. That man the Lord has prepared for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm the America. If your husband and tired of singleness and 39 years old, very soon I'll end up on a post, please. I need a husband in my life. No matter what you are doing, I'm going to marry you. Are you a barrel pusher? Are you a beggar? Are you a conductor? Please marry me. Please, I'm going to sponsor the marriage. I'm going to give you money to pay my bride price. I'm going to sponsor the wedding with my money. Please, God, marry me. I'm tired of singleness. Please. I'm 39 years old. Please come and marry me. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Please. I need a husband in my life. I need a man in my life. I'm tired of singleness. Please, I don't want to fight myself. I no longer sleep. All my mates are married with kids. Nobody wants to marry me. Nigerians, please, I'm pulling everybody out. Please come and marry me. If you have a brother that needs a wife, please let me know. I don't care about what you are doing. I don't care. Even if you don't have a job, I'm going to sponsor it. I need a man in my life, please. I'm 39 years old. Look at me. Please, that nine years old without a child, that's nine years old without a husband, that's nine years old with no, with, with, with no relationship. Please, I'm tired of men backing me and leaving me. They will just come into my life and back me and leave me. Please, I need a man in my life, a man that will be knocking me anyhow. A man that will be knocking me anyhow he wants. Don't worry, don't go to work. I will be giving you food. I will sponsor the marriage. Please. I will sponsor the marriage. I will sponsor everything. Please, just ask her to be my husband and your, li your life will change. Just ask her to be my husband. Your life will not remain the same again. Please come and marry me. I need a man in my life. I need a man that will marry me in Nigeria. I'm calling everybody out, please. If you are in Nigeria, please help your sister. Help your sister, please. I need a man in my life. I'm going to take you abroad. I'm going to take you abroad. I will, I will change your life. Once you marry me, we will travel outside country and start our life. I'll start our life and I, will, I have our kids. I don't want to enter monopoly because I'm about to enter monopoly. Please help me. Nigerians, help your sister, please. I'm, 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 I'm looking for a husband. I'm looking for a husband. I don't have a man in my life and I'm tired of singleness. Please, I'm tired of singleness. I need a husband. I don't need a boyfriend. I need a husband. Are you a barabusha? Are you a beggar? Are you a conductor? Are you a driver? Anything that you are doing, just as if to marry me, your life will not remain the same again. I'm going to change your life. Please come and marry me. I'm serious. Please come and marry me. I need a husband. I need a husband. I don't want to be single again. I don't want to be single again. Come and marry me, please. Please marry me anybody please I will, I will sponsor the marriage i will sponsor the marriage i have to speak out because i can't keep crying every day please come and marry me mm -hmm. savior savior yeah. My humble cry, my humble cry, we you want to bless the same angles. Please not pass me by. My Savior, 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 yeah. my humble cry, my humble cry, when you want to bless the singles. Do not pass me 
by. Hallelujah. Turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. I read. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Bible made us to understand that we should knock the door of blessings. The doors of our marriage will open. Bible said we should ask. Ask that thing that is your heart desire. And God Almighty will honor it. So Bible is encouraging us to speak, to ask, and he will do it for us. I saw this young girl on the internet. You know, I know some of you might say that it is content. She's creating content. But I can assure you that thousands of ladies, millions of ladies, this is their cry every day. This is their cry every night. Weeping, asking God to connect them to their husband. And you see some foolish one, they will be asking you who marriage help. I want to speak to someone this morning. My sister, continue to hold on to God. As an evangelist, I'm in America. The great prophetess of our time. I want to let you know that the God we serve is a miracle-working God. The God we serve is God that can provide any kind of dogu that you are looking for. I'm also a matchmaker and I've seen thousands of ladies. They have come to me, mommy, pray for me. I want to settle down. I want to get married. Mommy, I'm tired of being single. So many ladies are tired of being single today. But I tell you one thing. Our God is able. Our God is miracle working God. He will do it for you. But you have to work on your character. You have to behave like a Chineke girl. You have to dress properly. You have to cover your head. You see all those jewelries that you're wearing. They are demonic. Stop wearing them. Some of them, they use it to tie you in the kingdom of the marine. Some of you... That is why you are not yet married. You have to dress like a child of God. You have to cover your body. You have to come close to God. Our Lord Jesus Christ needs you. In Jesus Christ, everything is possible. In Jesus Christ, all the answers you will get. Come close to him today. Make him your Lord and personal Savior. And Almighty God will honor you. He will give you husband, not just husband. He will give you a dogu. He will make you to prosper. He will make your husband the king and you will be the queen. The Lord will serve will not give you a table. The Lord will serve will honor you. The Lord will serve will give you a man that will respect and love you. A man that will treat you like a queen. But you have to come close to him. You have to make him your God. Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And every other thing shall be added unto you. Hallelujah, somebody. Turn to me to the book of Mark. Mark 19.16. Do you know, there was a young lady that came to me few months back um sister anna do you remember that lady that walked up to me um when we were coming back from conference the young lady came to me and said woman of god there's a man asking for my hand in marriage i am really scared i said why are you scared this girl told me that 
each time a man is coming to marry her, that something will just happen. Everything will scatter. The man will no longer talk about marriage again. They will come, but they will not stay. It means that something is wrong. When they come and they don't stay, you need to pray. You need to seek the face of God. There are forces. There are powers. I don't want you to be happy. But you have to pray your way out. They will gather. That's what Bible said. Thousands may fall at your right hand. Ten thousand at your left hand. But as long as they are gathering, it's not of God. Ha <laughs> Jesus. Bible said, they must surely scatter. Hallelujah, somebody. I want us to pray this morning. Open your mouth and begin to pray. That God in heaven, he that sees beyond, will look into your case. I want you to pray that God will remember you. I want you to pray that God will intervene. Whatever that is holding your blessings, <laughs> whatever that is delaying your blessings, your miracle, whatever that is holding your husband, I want you to speak. I want you to seek, like Bible said. I want you to knock and the door of heaven will open for you. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Tell God that the hour is now. That he should open your chapter and turn things around for your own good. That you want to settle down this year. Before December 2024, you want to wait. God will honor it. Bible said that our heart desire he will give us. He said, come to me, you that labor, and I will give you rest. There is no other place to find rest except in Christ Jesus. There's no other place to find peace except in Christ Jesus. Bible said that he is the only one that can give you peace that passes man's understanding. Hallelujah. Father, we pray this morning. As many that is trusting thee <laughs> for their own husband, I speak as a woman of God that you intervene in their matter. I speak as a woman of God that you will turn things around for their own God. I pray this morning, every power that is holding their blessing, every power that is holding their peace, every power that say they will not marry, many that have tied in the marine kingdom, I speak this morning as prophetess of America, every yoke broken, many that have put in the coven of the wicked, this morning, I dip my hands inside that pot, wherever they have put in your name, wherever they have caged you, and I said, Break now in the name of Jesus. Break now in the name of Jesus. You are free from every captivity. You are free from every marine kingdom. Every the projection of the wicked. You are free in the name of Jesus. Your husband is coming forth. Your husband is coming forth. This morning, this prayer is for you, my sister. And if you believe in the words of God, if you believe that God is still doing miracles, if you believe in the God of Army America, if you believe in God in heaven, I want you to shout Amen. I want you to shout a louder Amen that God will honor our prayer. That God will wipe away our tears. That God will answer our prayer. Get us connected to a man that will love us. Get us connected to a man that will cherish us. A man that fears God. A man that understand what it means to serve Almighty God. Father, that is the man we want. Father, that is the man we need a man that will give us peace my lord and my god we put our trust in day we pray in the mighty name of jesus we pray in the mighty name of jesus begin to turn things around begin to turn things around begin to turn things around every power every mount that have confessed ever against us every tongue that have risen in judgment against your daughters father i stand in the gap as a daughter of zion and i say lord almighty begin to break begin to cast begin to 
destroy every manipulation of the wicked, every projection of the wicked. Let it be cancelled now. Let it be cancelled now. And let the daughters of Zion be free from every kingdom of wicked, from every marine coven. Let the power of Almighty God destroy them. Let the power of Almighty God destroy them. Let the power of Almighty God destroy them. I call your husband now, wherever he is now. Get connected. Get connected. In the mighty name of Jesus, get connected. Get connected. Yeah, Baba. Get connected. Get connected. In the mighty name of Jesus, get connected. Get connected. In the mighty name of Jesus, nothing will delay your blessings anymore. Nothing will keep you away from your man. You will get connected to that man. That man the Lord has prepared for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is settled. It is over. You are getting connected. If you believe in this prayer, shout a thunderous hallelujah. Shout a thunderous amen. We are serving a living God, and our God will do it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. amen. Sister. Me America.